I created this video to answer the question, how long should a business keep their credit card receipts? And the link to this blog that I just wrote will be in the description below. So definitely click on it and it will help you out. But the answer is 18 months. You want to keep your receipts for 18 months because it's this time period where your customer or a credit card card holder can issue a dispute on a particular transaction. They call their issuing credit card company, which is that 1-800 number on the back of the credit card, and they explain why they weren't happy with the sale. They explain that they actually didn't purchase this or the amount was wrong and so forth. And they have 18 months to do this. That's a long time, a year and a half. So you, in order for you to um, prove that this customer was at your business, that they did purchase this particular product, um, you know, you want to have as much information as possible, but you absolutely have to have a receipt. You have to have it signed as well. It's so important. So what happens is a chargeback is initiated. Your merchant service provider is notified by this customer's issuing credit card bank. They then send you documentation to your business requesting that you send in a signed receipt as well as your rebuttal as to what this customer is saying about that transaction. And then they look at all the information and they decide whether you're going to get your money for this transaction or they're going to take it back and give it back to the cardholder. Um, so that's why you really want to keep your receipts for 18 months. Now, I'm going to kind of skip around in this article, but you don't need to keep your receipts any longer than that because there's so much reporting that you now get as a merchant. It's now... Um, the law since 2011 that the IRS requests that the merchant service provider, your merchant service company, sends them directly a 1099 showing them how much you did in credit card sales, credit and debit card sales for the entire year, and it breaks it up month by month. You will also receive this report from your merchant service provider, as well as you should be getting a monthly statement showing your total volume in credit cards, on the total fees that you paid, and then the breakdown of all those fees. And if you're not getting that reporting, give them a call because they can send it uh, through the mail or they should have an online portal where they can give you credentials. You can log in and easily print out these reports, send them to your accountant and keep them for your records. Um, importance of EMV. It's so important now to accept EMV chip cards because of chargebacks. Um, the bank will now cover most cases of fraudulent chargebacks. So let's say a card is stolen, someone comes in and they purchase something from your place of business. If you accept that card by using the chip instead of key entering it or swiping it, when that chargeback is initiated, you're gonna have a really, really good chance of winning it and, get, and being able to keep your money because you took it with a chip card. If you if you key entered it or swiped it and ends up being fraud, automatic loss, it doesn't matter if you even have a receipt with a signature. So even if your business doesn't see fraud and you've never had a fraudulent charge, you know it only takes one. So definitely encourage you to upgrade your equipment. In fact, most, business, most merchant service providers like us will actually provide you the equipment at no charge, just let you use it, handshake agreement. Um, Storing your receipts, you know, you, you're going to want to keep them in a safe area. You don't want your employees to be able to, you know, access them and lose them. Um, we recommend putting them in a fireproof lock safe in case, you know, God forbid, you know, you have a fire at your place of business. Um, at least your receipts will be safe. That way, if you have any chargebacks, you can send the receipts in and, you know, have a very good chance at winning the, uh, the chargeback. Um, destroying this receipts, PCI compliance standard says to shred them up. You know, there's not a whole lot of sensitive information on them, but you know, definitely just put them through a shredder to get rid of them. And um, you know, basically, there's a little bit more information in this article, so click on it and check it out. But I hope this helps you. 18 months. That's all you. That's that's how long you want to keep your receipts for, and then you can destroy them. Give me a call on my cell phone. It will be in the description below. If you have any questions at all about merchant services, I'm here to help you. Thanks. Have a great day.